<laughs> I did it again. I forgot to put my mic down. Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on FTB uh, Ultimate Reloaded. I was actually supposed to do a uh, Sky Factory for um, <laughs> video today, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I got into doing this and then planning the video out and yeah <laughs> so uh, you might get two videos today because I want to go ahead and get that up and I'm going to go ahead and record um, the quick start guide both together I did not get to do that this weekend I had other stuff that came up and uh, so let's get started here the first thing is I've been waiting to do this forever but here is our transmutation stone if we go to uses here we can transmute stuff with this um, lots of different stuff yeah but we kind of wanted ender pearls and there we go there's our ender pearl recipe so uh, we needed one of these so we can make one of these <laughs> and uh, so let's get that done so we need four iron let's get let's get four more iron out of here Two, three, four there we go and then if we put this guy in here with this this will give us an ender pearl then we don't have to go hunt down endermen and I've been I was been, wanting to do this and I just forgot getting into other stuff forgot about it um so that's a stage one of the stuff and this does not need to go in here this needs to go I'm gonna put it right here in this corner so we have it um, I wanna upgrade this but I don't have the book just yet I need to go get some leather so that's what made me think of this um, and now we I saw we need is this so I had slag I have that let me get the slag out if I can find it uh, there's our slimes I have slag here somewhere. There's our piece of slag. And we went and picked up soul sand. So there's our soul sand. And now we can do this. And this gives us four morbs. <laughs> morbs are awesome. They're awesome. Now I can make this reusable. I can make some of these reusable. But, um,. Reusable only means that you can use it in the machine to process things. I don't really care about processing things right now because I don't have that machine. I don't even know if that machine's available in this. But the morphs are available in this. So I'm going to put you back up. And we're going to put you back up because I don't need either one of you guys. So, um,. I'm going to explain how this works in a second. There's a couple other things we want to go ahead and craft while we're here. So, uh, I was thinking about mining, and I've noticed that the, the ore dimension is in this one. So, why not go ahead and do this, right? Um, let's go ahead and make some of you guys and we'll go ahead and make the flint and steel and make our multi-tool and then we can put our multi-tool in here and make I think it's 12 I'm gonna go ahead and do 12 it's not those so we're gonna need try that Yes, that actually works. So let's go ahead and do 12. And put our multi tool in our hand. I'll go ahead. We did upgrade our pack last episode, so that was good. We got extra room in there. I'm going to go ahead and put my mining turtle in here and my diamond chest in here. I'm going to need that for later. And I'm going to put the stone in here too. Uh, the crafting chest is for when I get some more stuff, and these chests can go in here also. So there we go. So now I can actually go to the mining dimension. Now, and I've got a turtle now. If I go to Kore here, I was going to make a Kore. 
But in order to make a core, I have to make another diamond drill. In order to get the diamond drill, I need titanium. In order to get titanium, I need an industrial blast furnace. In order to get the industrial blast furnace, I need more. Lots and lots of resources. So I thought we would go ahead and go ahead and get into the mining dimension today. Rather than me spending hours and hours mining, I would go ahead and set up my turtle coring like a 32 by 32 area. And, and then I can just leave it AFK while I'm uploading the video and then next episode tomorrow we will get into um, um, the blast furnace also this room is not gonna be big enough <laughs> I would like to just put it in the basement but I think I just want another room uh, kind of more industrial themed so we're going to look into building us another Um, building. I'm thinking about just putting it back there and uh, flattening this out. Building like a uh, a hallway out the back here, maybe, or just building a, a a building out there into that little area there. Which means I'm gonna have to clear out most of this area here. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. But for right now. We want to get into the mining dimension, and um, a couple of things that I have done. I went over to the swamp areas. Oh, there's a couple of things I do want to. Let's 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 show inside the house first. Hold on. Inside the house first. So, I kind of got stuck on the IC2 thing, and it's like, this, but this stuff is crap, right? I have. Tech Reborn. Tech Reborn uh, has a tons of, of uh, ways to generate large amounts of power. So there's really no point in not doing that, right? So there's this. These I was hoping would auto export, but apparently they don't. So I am going to have to manually pull these out and put them in here. Now, uh, there's one that I want to get into. So the, I want one of these, and then I want the other one over here. So I have a thermal generator here that runs off lava, which I'm going to keep full with uh, these guys, these cells. I'm just going to go fill them up, even if I have to go to the the nether. The nether. Um, I'm going to go fill these up and bring them back, and just keep a stack in here at all times. Um, and this is not going to be here. When we get into the building, this is going to be an underground power area. But, uh, and we'll deal with, with lava production then. Uh, but there's also, I have these. Where you at? Where are you at? These, right here, creosote. If we go to uses on creosote, and we go to uses on the actual creosote itself, uh, it can be used in a semi-fluid uh, generator from Tech Reborn. That requires aluminum plates, and aluminum plates requires aluminum, and aluminum in this pack can only be smelted in a blast furnace. Yeah. The, the redstone furnace, you can just turn bauxite ore into aluminum, and you can get them that way, but, um, and I haven't found any actual aluminum, so I kind of need to get into this also for that uh, we could do some promethium dust and smelt the stuff up that way but that's a that's a little resource heavy for me yeah I could also do it this way anyway the long story short I need lots more resources so Oh, so that's what I did off camera. I went ahead and just made this generator. And this generator here... is just a generator, two electric circuits, a reinforced glass, and some Envar plates. And the reinforced glass is just advanced alloys and either one of these recipes with just regular glass. So it's not that hard to make. You can actually make that once you make this alloy furnace here. So, let's go ahead and put you into here. 
So that's where we're at right now. I think that's all I did off camera. I, I went and gathered some more emeralds because I want to try out uh, an item from Tech Reborn for storage. Let's see how it works. But uh, for right now, it's, it, it's going to be okay. I'm not worried about these. Uh, I did go over to the swamps and grab some more rubber. I don't really need rubber though, so <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can use the plastic. And I've already got the plastic set up over there. I don't really need these. So I don't know why I keep trying to gather them up. Um, I think I'm going to put this on this other side of this tree here. And I kind of want this in the ground. So... No, stop it. Let's get that out of my inventory so I don't do that. There we go. There is that, and then we right click with this, and then this leads to the mining dimension. Now, I don't know if this mining dimension has day or night cycles. I know sometimes they turn mob spawning off, sometimes they leave it on. I don't, I don't have any clue. I haven't been into this mining dimension. Okay, so it is just a mining dimension. There's no trees. I don't see any mobs. This is great. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to start from here. And we are at 70. That's also pretty good. Let's get out our guy here. I'm going to set him up to here, and I'm going to put some coal in him. Refuel all. No, refuel all. If I can spell. There we go. That should give him some actual stuff to do. And then we're going to go... Excavate. Excavate. Guard two. And then when we hit enter, he'll start excavating. Now, this is where we should place a block. So, let's get our actual diamond chest out place that here and I'm going to go into my thing here and I'm going to claim these chunks here so I can load those chunks I'm not going to keep these on at all times but hopefully he'll keep running if I'm not here if I'm going to be standing here anyway And uh, I kind of want to see if he keeps going without me being here. <laughs> there's, there's supposed to stop if you get too far away, but I'm, I'm hoping if I, by loading the chunks, I can uh, prevent that. I can also come here to mine. There are some, it looks like caves here. Come here and do some mining if I want. Now he won't break anything on the top layer here because there's nothing to break. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do some testing. So we're just going to go back home. <laughs> Leave him here. See if he'll keep going with me having that area chunk loaded. Now. Let's go see about those darn cows, shall we? <laughs> we did have a bunch of cows in our backyard. And I did want a couple of sheep too, so let me make sure we get those. And I'll go back and check on him before the end of the episode. Because I want to kind of stay over there. 
And how this works is you just aim at the mob you want and you right click. And that puts him in the ball. And the reason why you don't need to um, have a reusable one is because until you use this in a machine, it's already reusable. <laughs> now, I have tested this. I have not tested this in this pack, though, so they might have changed some configurations. So if I go over here, I should be able to just throw this guy in here. Okay, so that did break it. I'm not crazy. Right? That did break it. But th th that's why we're testing. Because some packs, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. So we do want the reusable one. So let's go see if we can hook that one up. It is. It does require some signalum. But I believe we can do that. Yeah. We Let's take this out of here. And I believe it is copper and silver, if I'm not mistaken. Let's, let's look it up. If we go to uses here, let's hit enter here. Uses, we can look up the recipe through this. This guy. So three copper, two silver, and some. That gives us that. This should be plenty. This should be plenty. The four should be plenty. So one silver and three copper plus that. Let's start with that. Um, let's be ten of these in the magma crucible. Go ahead and stick that in there. There's nothing in here. Correct. Okay, so silver. Get one silver. And I have copper here. So let's get you into here. And getting that going. Uh, we will need my bucket, so let's grab that. stick you in there this will take a while and this will also take a while <laughs> mm. the, the funny thing is I just put silver in here to run through <laughs> I need to upgrade all these machines to the upgraded levels how are you doing you need more of you. Okay, so just stick you right in there, dude. Did you actually go through? You did, you did. Well, why wasn't you exporting earlier? Oh, the 16 each, so it, it might have not. It might have just run through. Yeah. Yeah. So I like these, because they also, these have, these have actually, these have 600,000 but these ones have a million AU so if I have two of the if I have one that runs off of the creosote over here and then one that runs off of lava over here that'll be two million storage on this one side here but I think I'm going to hook them up to this one when I get the area done so underground, I'm going to have this one hooked up probably at the end of the wall row here. And that's going to have uh, a line run down for the individual machines like this, like these ones and the other individual machines. And then after so far of a space, I'm going to put like um, a transformer down and then convert that over to like the medium voltage tier and then over to the low voltage tier for these guys now I can just upgrade them all to use this this power source here so I could do that but I don't want to <laughs> um, I like I like having it separated like that but that is an option if you want to do that you can use the transform upgrades that's it you are done and you should be done and then if we come over here the bucket silver that gives us four of that we need a little bit of sand if I'm not mistaken and sand and this actually gives us signalum 
and I want to make as many of the reusable ones as possible. And actually making this for the reusable ones actually gives us more slack, so we can actually make more of those if we need to. Let's put you back into here. Let's make you into nuggets right now. I can convert them back if I need to. We will do that. And that'll give us four. <sighs> what? Well, oh, it's three. <sighs> okay. Is it? Okay, it's not. Let's balance that. Now they're reusable. There we go. And that's 15. I'll just put those in there for now. And you can go in here, and then you can go back into here. And how's our time? Perfect. Now, oh, it's nighttime. So basically, I want books, and I have paper already, but I haven't. It's like the first thing we wanted to do was get cows over here, and then I never did that. So there's our one cow. There's another one floating in the water over here. And now we can pop this dude down. Sweet. And we can put him in here. Let's put him in here. Put this guy out there like that. Here we go. And it's reusable now. <laughs> Great. Now I can walk around and get some more of these cows if I need to. But we do have two, and I got some wheat back there. We can go ahead and feed them and get a, another one going. I did want a uh, sheep, and I believe there's a sheep over here. Oh, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Run! Stupid skeleton. I do need to put some more of those down here. Hello, creeper. And I would like two of these. I don't see that another one right close. I can't remember if we got a horse. I might, might come over and get one of those horses too. Anyway, that should be good. Let's let's head inside here. Grab some um, actual wheat. Actually, we might be able to grab some off the ground up here because I believe my crops have regrown anyway. So off camera, I will be digging out the back there. Yeah. Except they go into my pack here, and then that's annoying. Yeah, I already had some weed on me. Look at that. And, uh, no, no, no. Get, get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so I'll be breeding those guys up so that we can get some stuff off of. We might employ some uh, trickery. Uh, maybe have the babies move down underneath once we get a good selection of uh, breeders up here. Have the babies move down underneath there and let them grow up and then like turn on one of the... Um, industrial foregoing machines to uh, grind them up for us into useful stuff. But uh, let's go back over here to our turtle, see if he stopped or if he kept going. I will be digging out the area though, so and uh, I'll probably go ahead and build that building off camera also. So next episode we, you'll be able to just see it. It might be a couple episodes though. Because my, my current D has been acting up for the Look at, there he is, still going. <laughs> Love it. Love it. And he'll come up here and put the stuff in. I'm going to set up some stuff for you. I need to go back home and get some pipes and stuff. But I'm going to set up some stuff um, for this to output. I want, I want to output like certain uh, stuff out of this diamond chest here. So... I want to pull out like um, gravel, dirt, um, 
and cobblestone right now and just put it into like like a trash can and um, everything else left in here for now if it gets anything more than that then we'll see what we get out of it but uh, that's gonna require me I don't think I have anything on me to do that do I know and I need to make a, a servo for that so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, make sure you set the notification settings under the notification bell for my channel. And you'll get notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can check them out, see if you like them. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them that you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on the social media pages. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Hopefully we'll be getting into the blast furnace.